Alright guys, what's up? It's Debauchery Gaming. Um, today I'm introducing a new series which we're gonna call Spencer and Martine Storytelling Time. Or something Story like that. Storytime! Story time! Yeah, exactly. Um, for confidentiality reasons, I'm gonna change the names of everyone in this story. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so what's up guys? I'm back. Um, I'm here with Martine and joining us is Octavio, also known as Octavius hey. Prime. Say sup, dude. Sub dogs. Sub dogs. Right, so that's Octavio, don't worry about him, he doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> he's a piece of shit, don't worry. Piece of shit, fuck that guy. No, piece I'm shit. You sack of shit. It's only you me and Spencer who matter. Yeah, we're playing. Uh, Alright, wow, well, okay, guys. <laughs> it's a joke. Alright, anyway. We're playing some CSGO right now. I'm gonna come. Oh shit, no, no. Alright. Hey, it's... bro. For the record, I suck dick at this game. I'm more of a Dota guy. We all suck dick at this game. We all suck dick at this game, but me especially. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so let's get started. Um, It was summer of my freshman year in high school, and um, I was hanging out with my friend, let's call him Coral. I think that Coral. Works. Coral. <laughs> we're memers. Heads Coral, up. We're memers. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. uh, so anyway, Coral and I, we were pretty close. I love that guy. Um, he was dating this girl across the town. She lived like four or five blocks away. We called her, uh, we'll call her Ass. We'll call her Ass. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, <laughs> Ass is pretty sick. She's a, she's a good person, but yeah. Um, was the Ass fat? Dude, let's not go there, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> but she watches yeah, this, this that'll not be good. <laughs> kidding, oh God, you're right. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, Coral. And I were just hanging out at one of our friend's houses, and um, this was closer to her house than Coral lived, so they wanted to go hang out. And um, no one wanted to sneak out of Cor out of the house to go with Coral and I to hang out with us. Oh, so wow. I got put in the position where it's like either he doesn't go hang out with his girlfriend, or I just go with. So I went with him to hang out with his girlfriend. And that was alright, we had a good time walking, just strolled over Third there. Wheel. As we were walking there, this um, car drove up like super incognito. They didn't have their lights on or anything. <laughs> and as soon as they got next to us, there was a bunch of like college students or some shit, and they started screaming at us. It scared the shit out of both of us. Like Coral and I just fucking sprinted out of there. They were laughing at us. We felt like fucking idiots. Why do you always go this way? <laughs> and um, anyway, back to the story. Eventually, we end up at Ass's house, and um. <laughs> This is a horrible story. <laughs> no, keep going. No, it's horrible because like the fucking named her ass. <laughs> I know, we named her ass, <laughs> but that's pretty close to your real name, so it's whatever. Whoa, hey. Uh, hey, whoa. Hey, whoa where Anyone's watched about? Suits, like, Shayna's ass, Zaz, dude, that's a, li that's a last name. Hey, anyway, continuing. So we make it to Ass's house, and um, obviously I'm not going to be the cock-blocking guy, so I let them go off to Ass's room. But As had a friend over, and that friend happened to be someone that I used to date, who had broken up with me, I think, like, four or five months ago. And her name, we're just going to call her Sassy. And, this is uh, called Teen Angst. This is called Teen Angst right here. This is the whole story. So, um, Sassy and I are just kind of awkwardly there. Um, Coral and As already took a bunch of shots and headed into As's room where they were doing things that I don't want to speak of. Whoa! This, this is a family-friendly channel. They were, uh... <laughs> They were hugging very intimately, as far as I know. The hugs <laughs> made a lot of noise. Whoa, hey! Hey, I'm not saying uh, that. I wasn't wrestling. there. They were wrestling. They were wrestling, yeah, they were wrestling. And, um, so, I'm sitting there with my ex, Sassy, who I haven't seen in four months since she broke up with me, and we're just kind of like... Saying they're awkwardly, we're both. So awkward. you want to fuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> pretty Don't much actually. <laughs> what? And Mike, okay. um, we're th three shots in too. I completely fucked that up. That was horrible. I didn't hit you once. Um, we're both like You're three, shots, three shots, in? shots in at least right now. All and right. um, so I don't even remember how it got to this point, but we were. I was on top of her. We were doing stuff. You know, it was a good time. Like you, you know, some wrestling, some good old fashioned Texas wrestling. <laughs> some good Texas wrestling. It was beautiful. And um. As this is happening, we stop for a minute, well not for a minute, for like a couple seconds, and she's like, why didn't we ever drink before? And I'm like, that's a pretty good point. And then anyway, she's like, should I go get more shots? I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And then, um, wow, I stopped drinking this game. <laughs> and, um, so, she goes to the kitchen to get more shots, I just kind of chill on the couch waiting. She comes back, take another shot, and then we start going again. Things are nice, I'm like, alright, this is alright. And then... She stops for a second. She's like, sometimes I forget we stopped dating. 
and like to me, I'm just like, what the fuck? I so, just want in your pants, bitch. No, I'm not <laughs> no. So I'm just like, Damn. I'm kind of taken back. I'm like, what? How do you still think that you fucking broke up with me? Oh, so penetrated his heart like <laughs> that bull in my skull. All right, go. So I said, I'm just like, Damn. I don't, because you broke up with me. <laughs> and Damn. she's oh, like, God. we're both a bit more than a bit tipsy at this point so she doesn't like take it offensively she's just like oh yeah whatever and then we keep going and then she's like let's go get more shots i'm like okay because i'm a fucking naive high school freshman i'm like i can take six shots i'm good <laughs> and, uh, this is where spencer learned his limits this is where i learned my oh. limits and, um, so this time instead of waiting on the couch i walk with her to the kitchen where i see um ass's mom and her stepdad walk in. Wow, I sucked this game. And um, no again, story. I was I was pretty tipsy oh. at this point. Oh so, shit! I just reloaded. <laughs> so I like I didn't really register it for a couple seconds, and like that gave Sassy enough time to turn around, look at me, and just be like, "Uh, are you not running away right now?" And then like after like five seconds of me sitting there staring at them and staring at Sassy and just thinking like, "What's happening right now?" It clicked. Something clicked in my mind. And I'm just like, oh shit. And I run back to the couch where we were on before and there was a sliding glass door right there. So I opened that and ran through. Um, while this is happening, Sassy barges into um, Ass's room is just like, hey, your parents are here, get him out of there. So as I'm jumping out of the like sliding glass door, I see um, my friend Coral jump out the fucking window like Spider-Man. Like he fucking, <laughs> like that's not an exaggeration. He puts his fucking like arms in between his legs, and he's fucking jumping through the window. And I'm too tipsy to like really think of how funny that is, but it was hilarious. The position he made was perfect. And then um, after that, we walked for like I think 30 seconds before I noticed it was cold as shit, and that I had left my jacket in the house. So instead of doing the smart thing and uh, talking to ass later to get it back. Again, I was very tipsy. You went I, back in? I ran back in the sliding glass door, opened the sliding glass door, look her stepdad Nigga, in the this eye. this is no longer tipsy. This is just <laughs> fucking stupid drunk right now. I um, open the sliding glass door, stare her stepdad in the face as I grab my jacket and then run back outside. <laughs> and like, we're terrified right now. This is the first time anything has happened to us. We're very like naive, good guys. We didn't really do anything risque good in our job. lives at this point. So, we're redoing we that shit because we fucked up. We fucked up. Yeah, that was my bad. That was horrible. I completely I said like shit. everyone's name at the same time, and it was not good. All right. So anyway, I don't know where I started fucking up. So I'm gonna start back when her parents walked in, or mom and her no, stepdad. You didn't fuck up then. You I didn't fuck up, up then, like, but uh, look, you, you were going off on a tangent about how innocent high schoolers were. All right. Is... So we were innocent. We were freshmen in high school. We're just like, oh shit, that was bad. And, uh, Coral's, Coral's pretty drunk right now. He's not doing great. He's just, like, he's, he's gone. And he's, he's a pretty paranoid guy, or he was at that point in his life. And, uh... Coral! Coral! <laughs> because he has a zombie apocalypse on his ass, but, um... <laughs> so, Coral's freaking the fuck out. He's like, oh god, I'm never gonna see my girlfriend again. Ass is gonna hate me. Her mom's gonna fucking, like, never let me see her again. My mom's gonna find out, and she's gonna send me to military camp. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, he was just so drunk, he had no rational train of thought. And it's I was called the drunk tangent. <laughs> it's called the drunk tangent. Yeah, it's called that. And um, me, I was also very, very tipsy. So I was just like, oh god, dude, I'm so sorry. We fucked up so much, dude. That was all my fault. And I'm like freaking out. And um, I don't think I mentioned this, but Coral has asthma. <laughs> so we just ran like Carl's this little fat ass yeah, ass by dude, doing dude. shots. He's like, please, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Please. Just runs, just and fucking so... runs. Are you doing serious? ninja like, barrel rolls through windows <laughs> with asthma. I'm like, damn, Coral's a badass. And so yeah, he's um, a badass. We had just ran like four blocks after finally getting out of Ass's house, and um. And so Coral stops to take a breath because he's like feeling really winded and like he's done. He's like, he's heaving, he's heavily. I thought he was having an asthma attack, but he was just really out of breath. And the Spider Man maneuver cost <laughs> him a lot. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there like on the sidewalk, just panting heavily. And I'm like, oh shit, he looks horrible. He's I'm like, die. I'm worried about him. I'm like, oh god, this guy's gonna die. I'm freaking out. And then 
this car starts driving up to us and we are both pretty out of it at this point and um it went through both coral and i's head simultaneously we're like it's her stepdad and i see coral take off faster than i've seen anyone run in my life (laughs) He sprints the fuck out of there. He's like... He's like, I'm out. He's like the fucking Flash right now. He just... He's gone. Like, before it's I had the, the chance... The man, like, <laughs> crime avoiding, like, instincts <laughs> coming into play. No, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm out, bitches. And, and as, like, what before I had the chance to react to the fact that there was a car coming towards us at, like, four in the morning, I turn and around so and Coral's fucking three blocks ahead of me. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck? So I sprint after him. We're both running from this car. It takes a ride going to, like, Safeway or some shit. Obviously, it wasn't her fucking stepdad. That'd be stupid. But, again, we were out of it. We're like, oh, God, it's her stepdad. Run, run, run. He's fucking four blocks ahead of me now. We make it back to our friend's house where him and the two other guys that were there pass out on the couch. And um, one of my friends, I'm going to call him Abel, he, like, sits up on the couch, looks at us, laughs, and goes back to sleep. And that was just kind of like a dick to the mouth thing. Like, that was such a fuck you to us. Like, yep. fuck, this is the guy bitch. that's the only reason I came there. And um, the, fa- <laughs> the fact that he's I'm laughing amazing. in my face, like getting like I'm messed amazing. up. And like, I'm sweating to the toes. It's horrible. It was really not good at all. But yeah, that's the story of how I hooked up with my ex. What? You hooked up with her after that? No, that, I was hooking up with her. We were on the couch. Wrestling. I know, but like, I thought it was like a fling. Well, yeah, that's it was a fling. It was a one night type thing. You know what? It's high school. Like it's high school. That was pretty it's much. It's not a even up. like it's not even like a real <laughs> relate. It's just hooking up. It's high just school. hooking up. Yeah. It's high just school. hooking. Even up. Even our relationship wasn't really a relationship. It was just hooking up. Fuck. Is that an op, you shitter? No, it's not. It's not cute. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Don't do with your own weapon, bro. You always use the moral of the story is. Know your limits. Don't drink the moral kids. Is, don't drink kids. No, that was and... one of the greatest nights ever. Drink as much as you can if you want to have Drink one. with no responsibility. Drink like it's the last night of your life is what we're saying. All the, right? re- the real Just, moral. The like, moral. if you're in high school and you're listening to this video, Go I want drunk, you to look dude. at yourself and say, am I, one, a bitch? Then drink. <laughs> or am I, two, an alpha badass? Then drink some more. Like... It's always the answer. Always, more drinking is, always... is the answer. The more, real moral of the story. This guy is drunk. And I will, I will have advice for you high schoolers looking to further enhance your <laughs> experience. Shut the fuck up, Martin. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But right, seriously. So the real moral of the story is um, if you want really bad stories to tell your friends, fucking get drunk. That's how you get good stories in this day and age. You just well, drink a bunch. Yeah, basically. <laughs> All right. You want there, a memorable you night? Good... Get fucking drunk. Get wasted. <laughs> but know your limits, kids. I have a great story to tell later about knowing your limits. However, we will not tell this today. That's for another day. That's for another episode. Get Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll be back next week or something. I hope you now. enjoyed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching hope a saw giant dick at this game. <laughs> You guys enjoyed the oh, story. I'm so sick. I'm putting that in clip just because nice, how good that was. Have a nice day or afternoon. All right. So anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.